there you have it i wanted to apologize to absolutely nobody nobody i don't apologize for telling the truth you know what the truth will always cost you subs will cost you likes will cost you money but somebody need to tell the truth so if you are enemy of the truth my friend this channel is not for you today we're gonna talk about a lot of truth and a lot of common sense number one let's start by talking about chelsea body language and let's start by the manager himself thomas tuchel his body language at the moment stinks yeah i said it stinks look at him always complaining from the touchline always yelling at people and uh, in the press conference he becomes even more aggressive defensive short answers and that is not good for a leader remember when lampard was there right yeah i know right lampard again yes i have to bring lampard into the equation because i know how evil people were told him when he was crossing his arms oh look at him no energy he's not talking he's not doing this one 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 thomas took all took over and then people went crazy look at his body language we got our chelsea back yes that's what i'm talking about Chelsea showing all the happy pictures from from the training ground and all that we were all happy what is happening today because the result is not going our way normally somebody is going to have a bad body language but back then because we hated Lampard we found everything to hit him with but now you can't criticize you can't say anything because you are a header number two hakim zh body language stinks yeah i said it i made videos defending hakim zh i'm not gonna give up on hakim zh but the truth need to be said hakim zh i don't know it's not even against brighton every time he scores a goal he will celebrate some weird celebration kind of uh, challenging somebody like i told you so why did you say this and that i don't like that kind of body language to be honest with you you have to celebrate with your your friends you have to smile you have to enjoy your time with the fans but that celebration against brighton just showed everything that is happening behind closed doors it tells you that he've been criticized by the manager or some some of his colleagues and the fans so he wanted to tell people that i told you i told you so you have to shut up kind of uh, celebration and he looked straight at thomas tuko on the bench kind of telling him to shut up you know what i mean literally and look at the way they were fighting with lukaku on the field everybody could see it well it's happened i played football i understand that those kind of moments can happen but i think uh hakim zh is doing it a little too much he need to fix his attitude next point no service excuses we heard all kind of theories. Every time we lose a game of football, we're gonna find somebody to blame. We're gonna blame the system. We're gonna blame the guy that we don't like, blah, blah, blah. I'm not interested on that, but let's just make sense here, right? How many chances a world-class striker need to score one goal? We create chances. It's not that we don't create so when people said we don't play to lukaku's strength and then i don't know what is his strength because when you have a one-on-one -on -one, or when you are in the position of shooting and you you decide to pass the ball to somebody else and then it shows lack of confidence it shows that uh, you are not sure about yourself it shows lack of quality i don't think that has something to do with uh, the system or something to do with creating because we create it that's why you are in that position because we create it so 
I respect everybody's opinion when it comes to system that we are playing. Yes, I criticize the systems so many times. I said we have to, to have few plans, okay? Plan A, plan B, plan C to put uh, players in their um, natural positions where they are comfortable enough to, to make a difference. Yeah, I said it, but sometimes if you find yourself one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper just score it because it has nothing to do with the system if even you are mendy and you are in the opposition box you find yourself in the position of shooting and scoring you have to score it okay don't tell me that i'm not gonna score because i'm a goalkeeper bottom line is it's not the lack of service but the lack of quality can you see the difference a quality player will make the difference he will make a bad pass a great one that makes sense but for average players we're gonna always find excuses for them next we are tired excuses <laughs> this one makes me really laugh did you watch uh, thomas tuko uh post game interview he talked about how we are tired physically and mentally and they needed two days uh break yeah i can understand that but you have fresh legs my brother you have uh ruben on the bench you have ross barkley you have saul Niguez. you have kovacic you have a lot of fresh legs who are just waiting for opportunities Malang Sa is not playing enough games. He already he played just the last games because of the situation we have. So he's still fresh. It's not like he, they played 30 games this season or something like that. We have a big squad and that's why um, we are Chelsea Football Club. Okay, We don't complain about injuries, virus or fatigue or whatever. They are professional football players. Many of them are looking for just a chance. We have the academy. We have... Uh, Harvey Vell, Charlie Webster, Lewis Hall, all of them waiting for a chance. So we don't really have to complain. I understand that we have a lot of injuries and people are recovering from injuries and virus. But I think if we were creative enough, if we were proactive and if we had few systems, okay, a plan B, we can cope with the situation. Look at Man City. If the Bruna is not there, it's not a problem. They can bring a kid from the academy that would do a great job. The same for Liverpool. No Salah, no Keita, no money, no problem. Because they're going to find another way of winning games. For me, the lack of plan B, the lack of different systems, the lack of rotation is killing Chelsea more than fatigue excuses. Oh.